Hi. Welcome to this video where we're going to discuss torque curves on our common rotor designs. Now this is just a very general overview of how that torque in a motor comes out based on different rotor designs. Uh, of course, real rotors are going to be a little bit different, but um, it's important that you understand we're going to talk about four different NEMA designs, which are these four right here. And you can check out that other video to get into the more specifics of how they're constructed and the actual different design qualities and the output of each of them. We're also going to talk about a wound rotor motor uh, output, which I also have another video on that, and that looks something like this. But let's jump into it and talk about this torque. So first off, uh, NEMA design A and design B. So these are all our NEMA designs, right? So NEMA A and B. NEMA A and B operate pretty much identical, right? So NEMA A and B, they both have, you know, about a 150% starting torque, which would be at a blocked rotor, right? When my speed is at zero or my slip is at 100%, that would be at start, right? And they all both peak out around a 25% slip at around a 200% torque. And their torque curves look, you know, something like that, right? That would be a standard torque curve for a NEMA A and a NEMA B design rotor. Of course, slightly different, right? Um, a being a little bit more efficient, B being a little bit lower inrush current and a little bit more common maybe, but awesome. Then we come into the NEMA design C. Now we like the C, right? The C is that uh, double squirrel cage rotor, right? So it gives us a more effective start. You know, we get around 225% at start. And that's also where our breakdown torque occurs. Now this motor is a little bit less efficient because of that dual rotor uh, squirrel cage and it's um yeah so anyways the torque curve for that one kind of looks you know like maybe right so again the more vertical we are here the more efficient that motor would be so that's a nema c then with a uh, nema rotor d so we like the d right the d had a very very high starting torque right around 275 percent and that's also where I get that peak torque. The problem with the D is it's very inefficient, right? So it's great start, but it's a little bit inefficient. So this torque curve for the D ends up looking something like that, right? So that's a D. Now, I wanna stop here for a second and I wanna talk, right? We gotta think about, when we think about speed, our synchronous speed is here. You know, our no load speed is right there and our full load speed is right there. So the actual operating range for a motor is right in here, right? So um, that slip ends up being a very good representation of the torque curve in the operating range of a motor, right? As my slip goes down, my torque goes down, right? So this is where a motor operates, right? From that like two to 15, two to 10%, two to 8% in that range is where an actual motor is meant to operate. This is at start, or this is in a way overloaded, right? So it's just getting it to that point, right? So that's something to keep in mind is that this is where the motor is operating. This is either at start or when I overload that motor. But of course, the last one I want to talk about is that wound rotor induction motor rotor. The wound rotor induction motor, remember, that's the one with the adjustable resistance. So all of these rotor designs, A, B, C, and D, have a set resistive value. With that wound rotor motor, we're adjusting the resistance, uh, which gives me pretty much the room to play. So I can keep my torque really high. This is wound rotor. and keep my torque really high and it's actually one of the best rotors, so kind of like that. The problem with it being is, I've got all that expensive equipment, giant resistors, bunch of extra mechanical components, and extra maintenance required, but. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Just wanted to quickly review those torque curves. Um, check out my other motor videos on the rotor parameters, as well as the different NEMA rotor designs, uh, and have a great day. Thanks for watching.